Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to continue watching Supernatural. We are in season 4 and in episode 21. Which means that it's literally just this and one more and then that's, that's it for season 4, which I cannot believe. If you're new here, hello, welcome in. My name is Cora. It is so lovely to have you here. I'm also a Twitch streamer and I create gaming content here on YouTube. If you want to check out my gaming content, you can click the link up here. And if you want to come and hang out live or check out any of my other social media, the link to that is down below in the description box. And if you're not new, welcome, welcome back. Last episode, y'all. It was pretty uh, emotional as many of them are we got to know who the real Cass is what I mean is not Cass but Cass's body who the real person behind Cass's body is I guess I should have expected it but getting to know him was pretty emotional for many reasons the episode starts up with Cass connecting to or like contacting Dean in one of his dreams. He's sitting there fishing and Cass is like, we need to talk. This is not private enough, which is like crazy because it's in Dean's head, but someone could apparently be listening. So it's not private enough and they, they need to, to meet somewhere. So Cass gives him a note of where to meet and Dean thankfully, finally, brings like, he doesn't decide to go along. I'm not gonna say thankfully, okay, listen. They do go together, but sometimes when they get, like, messages like this and stuff, they just decide to go check them out themselves, and I was scared that he was going to. He didn't. So Sam and Dean, they go off to try to find out what Cass wanted to tell them. Only that they find a building which looks like hell is broken loose. Everything is broken and it looks like a huge mess and they actually find Cass laying there unresponsive. So I suppose you could say heaven broke loose rather than anything. And I was like, oh, I wonder if it's like kind of could have been like angel fighting. And I think Sam thought that as well, like angels fighting angels. Pretty horrific scene. They managed to wake Cass up only that Cass is no longer in the body. The dude is really confused and it turns out that this is the actual person of the meat suit, as they like to call it, uh, who's called Jimmy. And they don't know what happened to Cass, they don't know where he is, they, he, Jimmy doesn't know. It's, all, it's a lot. So they get to know Jimmy and they try to ask him what he remembers, what he knows, which is very little. It's a little bit like when demons possess humans as well. They might feel things and they remember snippets and bits and pieces of the time that they had like an angel or a demon in their body. So he doesn't really remember much. He doesn't know what Cass wanted to tell them. Really, really doesn't know anything. And Sam and Dean have slightly different opinions on what to do with him. So turns out that this dude has a family and Dean's like, we get, we buy him a bus ticket and we send him home back to his family. And Sam is like, but this is the only lead we have in order to find Cass. Like this, this guy is the only person that we, we know who, who could know anything. And even though he doesn't say he knows something, maybe we could, I don't know, use a psychic, take him to Bobby's and we'll figure it out. But then he also mentions that the fact that we want to know what he might know, probably means that the demons want the same which is a good argument for not bringing him back so they tell him that he has to stay with them he cannot go and see his family but then night comes they go to sleep and first off sam sneaks out which oh mm, yeah it was I don't even know how to put it, but I think that is the first moment when you really realize or start to realize how bad everything is going for Sam. Because, you know, we've seen some things that are not feeling great. We've seen him drink Ruby's blood and we've seen him gotten really strong and all of that. But turns out um, it's not as easy as just drinking Ruby's blood and get strong. Seems like drinking demon blood for Sam is a little bit more like being addicted to something. So he has his little vial, so he goes out in the middle of the night with his little like vial, little bottle thingy, uh, which contains, which I am assuming is Ruby's blood, and he like pulls it, like 
pulls it in his hand, like slurps it in, and you can see he's almost like shaking doing it. Like it's a very intense scene, and you can see him like the relief of getting the blood inside of him, which is terrifying. Um, but not only that, in the meantime of us seeing that, realizing that, having all that happen, you see um, Jimmy, Cass's body, that is. <laughs> sneak out because he's like I want to go home I want to see my family like I am tired of this I've gone through so much pain and I miss my family I want to go home so he decides to not listen to Sam and Dean and escape which Dean finds very funny in the morning so Dean is still completely oblivious of the fact that Sam went down to June Bud Sam says that he went out to get a coke and that's when he escaped and Dean finds it really funny that <laughs> that Sam lost him so they need to go back and try to find him. Whilst they're on the way to get to his place, we see Jimmy arrive home. We see him looking through the window, seeing his wife, seeing his daughter. And we also get snippets of him remembering his old life. And we get to see the moments where he were, was kind of picked. We get to see him proving to Cass that he is worthy, which he does by like putting his arm in like boiling water, only for it to, like for Cass to perform a miracle and like heal him up, which I don't know, it's like kind of wild because his wife walks in and is like, what the flip are you doing? And then Jimmy is trying to explain to his wife that like, I have a higher purpose in life. I have been blessed with this. And like, this is what Castiel, the angel is asking me to do. And his wife being rational is just, what are you talking about? And she is like, you are a radio guy. Like you, I don't know, something with the radios. And <laughs> you, you're like, this is delusional. Like there, there's no one trying to talk to you. And he's questioning her about her faith. And she's like, you are being ridiculous. Of course I believe in God and angels. And he's like, why can't you believe in this then? And they go back and forth and she asks him to take his pills and he refuses. He's like, there's nothing wrong with me. I do not need the pills. And she's like, if you don't, if you don't take the pills, I'm going to take our daughter and we're going to leave in the morning. So they, they have this huge falling out and it's really heartbreaking watching because you can see they're like a loving family and I understand Jimmy wanting to do the right thing for God and I suppose maybe he has always wanted to be able to do something that's bigger than him but I don't think he realized the effect it was gonna have on his family. You see him walk out in this like flashback and talking to Cass like please I'm about to lose my family please tell me they'll be okay they'll be safe and I'll do it and I guess Cass promises them that. And so he says yes. And then you get to see, like, you, you really see the expression of the change, which is something I even said when watching this, but Misha Collins does such a freaking good job at portraying Jimmy and Cassio differently. You can visually see that they're not the same person and you can hear it and like the voice and everything. It's so, smashing job honestly truly a smashing job you can see like when it's jimmy you really you really see it's jimmy it's not castiel and then the moment that castiel snaps into jimmy's body it's so obvious it's castiel and not jimmy it's wild but the moment he does that his daughter jimmy's daughter walks out and and she's saying something like that or something like that and Castiel just answers in his Castiel voice like I'm not your father and it, it's heartbreaking because you have this young girl who doesn't understand what's happening have her fa like father walk out never to return well until a year later saying I'm not I'm not your dad and it's just it's heartbreaking but he's standing outside and he rings on the door and like he has this like he is let in and he has this talk with his wife and she's really unsure and at this point i think that he has realized that it's going to be very hard for him to convince his wife that he um actually had an angel inside of him so he decides to lie and tell her that he was in a mental facility and like taking care of himself or something and she questioned him about like why she just didn't contact them like, is there no phones? Of course, your daughter wants to know. Like, we presumed that you were dead and all of this kind of stuff. They have this talk and his wife is just not let, ready to let him into their lives yet, which I think I can understand. And 
like from her perspective this looks really wonky and really weird. I think she's really relieved to see that he is okay, but I can also understand her being reluctant. But they decide to have a family dinner at least, so they do, and whilst they're at the dinner it, the doorbell rings. It's one of the neighbors and I was like, oh Flip, what if she found someone new and it was like his best friend or something? I don't know why I went there But I was like, maybe they just really moved on with their lives and now they have to break that to him But obviously it was more than it was worse than that. It was way worse than that <laughs> So the neighbor comes and he asks to speak to Jimmy by himself And then he says, oh, it's far from done because Cast, like, not Castiel, Jimmy is like, oh, but you know, it's all over now, like, it's all good. And, and this guy is like, it's far from done. And you're like, what do you mean far from done? Like, what, what's happening here? And then you see his eyes turn black and he's like, I'm gonna gut your daughter in front of you or something like that. Horrific. And Jimmy, fast reflexes at least, like, react. He take picks something up and like hits him. They're like fighting. You see the like his wife, I think she's called Amelia, running and be like, What are you doing, Jimmy? Like, please stop, please stop. And like, I understand that reaction. And then Jimmy stops and like pulls Amelia and Chloe, his daughter, like, uh, I think she was called Chloe. I might mix up the names anyway, into like the like storage cupboard thingy um <laughs> and and obviously amelia is really pissed like his wife is just like what are you doing you said you were okay and, and he's like it is demons poor salt on the ground he's like you cannot go out there there's this whole debacle and she managed to push him away because she thinks like my husband is still he doesn't have some screws are loose like some something's wrong like so she pushes him away and asks their daughter to run out which she does she listens to her mom which i feel like makes a lot of sense but obviously from our perspective it's like no 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 because we know it's a demon um only for them to both run out and the demon's got his daughter which is terrifying and and the mom is just like let my daughter go, like, what's happening? And she still thinks that this is just her neighbor. Have all of this, and thankfully, Sam and Dean shows up and helps them out. Dean managed to use the knife and cut the throat of the demon that's holding the daughter, and then Sam tries to do his little psychic ability, demon abilities, and, like, pull out the, the demon from... Like there was a second neighbor woman coming in and like tries to pull her out and it's just he's just not managing you can like and we've we've seen him do very powerful stuff so it's like interesting to see him struggle and dean is confused he's like why are you not able to do like you're usually able to like do this you freaking beat alistair like why are you you can see the confusion on his face so she managed like instead to like escape the body and the demon escapes they take the family uh like make sure they're all safe and finally at least the wife understands what's been happening so they have a really nice conversation and she's like i owe you the biggest apology to jimmy and he's like no you don't like you're a rational person i understand why you thought the way you did so like the good thing in this really bad mess is that at least now the family knows that jimmy wasn't he wasn't like insane like he, it, it was actually true and, and she she believes him so they decide that uh, Jimmy has to come with Sam and Dean and then the mum and the daughter gets a car and has to go somewhere else and you have this moment which is heartbreaking of them saying goodbye and she, she's like we're finally back to it like I don't want to say goodbye and Jimmy's like this I have to do this like there is no way I'm gonna put you in danger like I, I love my family I don't want to put you in danger so they go their separate ways after saying goodbye and um <laughs> so he, he I, I should when the demon left the like the woman's body back in their home i was like oh no i had a short brief moment of thinking oh what if she embodies someone else and then like i let go of that thought i just let it go forgot about it and then you have the mom she says something to the daughter and then she freaking bitch slaps her she gives her like the biggest slap and i was so not prepared okay uh, that that took me by full surprise and obviously the demon has taken the wife slash mom's body which is not great mm. and i guess kidnaps the daughter so they get a call sam gets a call when they're in the car and he's like oh it's your wife and then obviously the demon wife <laughs> 
tells him that she has his daughter and stuff. So now they have to like turn around and get a plan to like get the daughter and the wife back. They do, they get there, they're like, this is obviously a trap, and like, Dean's like, it's fine, I've got a plan. Um, so Jimmy walks in first, and the demon is like, you should have come alone. He's like, what do you mean I'm alone? And she's like, oh, you're not. And then two other demons comes in, bring voice Sam and Dean into the picture, and they've got the knife, it's really not looking good. Have this conversation back and forth, and she's like, and now for the punchline, you're all gonna die, or something like that. And she she points a gun at Sam and Dean, but then she turns and she shoots Jimmy and I'm like flip, there's, there's so much happening now, which is terrifying. And um, then another demon walks slowly like towards the daughter, so you can see like Jimmy lying on the floor like helplessly trying to like not bleed out. And you can see him looking at his daughter, like it seems like they're gonna get the daughter with him watching, which is, I guess. They're demons, I shouldn't be surprised, but horrific. Only for in the last moment, she uh, managed to like reach out her hand and like push it against the demon's forehead. And you can see it light up, and I'm like, what's happening? And obviously, an angel, aka Cass, had jumped into her body. So, like, whew, saving them last second there. Whew. I wasn't sure, I was like toying with the idea if it was potentially Anna when I was watching it, but it was Castiel. So he's now in the daughter's body and that moment makes the demons like lose traction so like Dean and Sam can start fighting as well and in the midst of all of this fighting and chaoticness Sam gets the knife and like I think he like cuts a bit on one of the demons and then he starts drinking her blood because remember he is he's having withdrawal issues here so he he's that he can't help himself like you can see it like it's it's almost like a vampire like he can't not do it he can't stand against it and obviously Cass the demons um Sam uh Dean I mean uh, see Sam do this so um now they all know that Sam drank demon blood and probably has before like I think they can put two and two together because actually earlier I forgot to say that Anna jumped into that car when they were trying to find Jimmy and she tells Sam like, you look different and he's like, oh, is it a new haircut? And she's like, no, that's not what I mean, like you, something's wrong, kind of. Um, so so they, she's already hinted at that, so like I think at this moment they can all put two two together and they're like, flip, okay, Sam is now drinking demon blood, not great. And you see that, like, Sam just standing there with like a bloody face, terrifying. Um, good timing though, because he managed to pull out the demon out of the mum and therefore like save the mum. So like, he saves the day, but it's not great, you know. <laughs> and then there is this conversation that Castiel has with with Jimmy and Cassiel is in his daughter's body so it's kind of wild and it's so funny because I kept saying wife when I was watching the scene and I don't know why I kept saying like wife I meant daughter but like I <laughs> just I don't know why what was happening with my brain um but the daughter and uh the daughter's body with Cass in it has a conversation with Jimmy and Jimmy is just begging because I think what Cassiel intends to do is take the daughter's body and just continue with her as the vessel because she also has the same blood as Jimmy and therefore like has this higher power or something. She's she's suitable for a vessel basically and obviously Jamie's like no I beg you and he managed to beg enough to get Castiel to take back his body so it he is sacrificing himself and the wife watches him do this and she's obviously not happy about it but she gets to see how important they are to him because it's something that they discussed earlier in the episode as well where she feels like he chose God and other stuff above them and now she gets to see him sacrifice the rest of his life and more even uh, for the sake of them. So it's a very bittersweet moment like it was beautiful but also horrible to watch and uh, he Cass leaves the daughter's body and jumps into to Jimmy's body again and you only get like a brief conversation but it's very clear that Cass was dragged back to heaven which is not a good thing even though it sounds like it should be a good thing but it's not a good thing and whatever happened changed him he he said like it was very obvious to me that I serve 
God, I don't serve men and I certainly don't serve you is what he tells Dean and then he walks off and we don't know what happened. We don't know what happened to him up there. We don't know where this stems from. No other information. So they leave the scene and I guess somewhere here, Dean has managed to contact Bobby because he's obviously worried sick for Sam. Like, whatever Sam is doing, it is... Well, he knows what he is doing, but for, like, whatever it means, it's not good, okay? It's not good news. So they're in the car and Bobby calls and Sam picks up and he's like, hey Bobby, he's like, get your ass over here or something like that. And he's like, why? Well, it's the apocalypse, of course. And I was like, that's a little... Like, we know the apocalypse is happening, but like, that's a little random, but okay, I mean, I guess that kind of checks out. And I guess that for Sam, he was like, yeah, you know, that makes sense. And they drive to Bobby's. Um, and when they're there, Sam is like, so what's this big uh, demon problem? And he, because like, Bobby has, we all know that, he has this like, demon-proofed chamber thing in his house. So they open up and he's like, oh, it's just in there. And like, Sam goes in first, and then Bobby and Dean closes the door. Which is so hard to watch because you can also see like Bobby and Dean don't want to lock Sam in there and Sam doesn't want to be locked in there and he's like a little confused and scared. Which makes sense because he even said earlier he's scaring himself with this whole thing. They have a small conversation about it in the car before Bobby calls and, and Dean is like you're scaring me. He's like I'm scaring myself is what Sam says. But they managed to lock him in and like that is the last thing we see. We don't know the plan, but I'm assuming that today's episode might pick up on that. And I'm assuming that maybe the end of the season is gonna have a lot to do with... Well, obviously the apocalypse as well, but like maybe Sam and what the drinking of the demon blood is doing to him. And I'm very nervous and I'm very excited to watch, so... Very good episode last time. Got... Castell's backstory, or like Jimmy the Vessel's backstory rather. Um, huge confusion as to what is happening in heaven between the angels and what has happened to Cass. And terrifying news that Sam is addicted to demon blood. So this episode is probably gonna be wild. I don't know if I'm prepared, but I'm just gonna do it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I am so nervous for this episode. Like, I wanna find out what's going on, but like, this is nerve wracking. Sam being closed in there. I, I do believe it might be the only thing they can do, but like. Okay, let me out. This is not funny. Damn straight. This is crazy, Phil. Not until you dry out. Yeah. That least you're gonna detox him. <laughs> shouldn't have lied to you, just. It's not about that even. You don't have to apologize. It's not your fault that you lied to me over and over again. <laughs> Oh, this is painful. I'm not some junk, really. Y you kind of seem to be. You're actually trying to twist this into some kind of ridiculous drug intervention? It smells like a duck. Dean, I'm not drinking the demon blood for kicks to kill Lilith. Well, you're also feeling bad when you don't. So. Try weak. Try desperate. Pathetic. Oh, God. Wow. I do see where he's coming from, though. Are uh, you so busy being so Yes, but... That. It's not even about that, Sam. You know that. Bobby and I will kill her. But not with you. They're gonna go and try to kill Lily without him? Ugh. Oh, I wish... I wish they could have a better conversation, but I feel like... Even the way that Sam's acting now and the way he's like saying that Dean is twisting stuff, I feel like that is very, making it very clear that it seems like... Like he's addicted. Because, like, he, he's not just been getting stronger, clearly. He has... He's been getting really low lows as well. You can see, you could see him sweating and feeling bad. It's, it's obvious that, like, yes, maybe the blood is making him stronger, but it's more than that. When the levy breaks? Oh, look at him. Oh, flip. He's truly having withdrawals. I wonder if he would have still done it if he knew that this was going to happen, like, that he would be addicted to demon blood. Oh no, he's really trying to get out even. It's making me more stressed. Oh. Oh? Oh no, wait, but this should be... This sh- Somebody's coming! Hello, Sam. No. You're- Is he seeing this? 
Wait, 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 wait. He did gain, did he? Is he hallucinating? Please tell me he's losing. Oh. oh no, this, nah, there's, there's no way he's back, is there? There's no way he would be able to get in there. Oh no, is he imagining this? That'd be so painful. Oh, I need. I don't. This 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 can't be real, can it? Mind all of a sudden. Oh. oh, and this actor's doing such a good job at doing Alistair as well. Go! Oh, no, I don't want to see him go through this. Like, he, oh no, yeah. Like it doesn't matter if it's real or not, because he is feeling it. Ah, oh, I was right. I hate that I was right, but I'm also glad that Alistair was not alive down there torturing him. Oh, that must be so hard for Dean. He does not want this. I guess no one knows. My demon detox. This hasn't happened before, has it? Or not that we know of, at least. Hell, or if Sam will even live through it. Oh, don't say that. Don't say that. No, 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 no. He has to live through this. Oh, I cannot imagine how hard this must be on Dean. Suck dirt and die, Rufus. You call me again, I'll kill you. Wait, Rufus? He knows. He knows about Sam? I'm busy, you son of a bitch. This better be important. Does he know something we want to know? <laughs> oh, I don't like the that look on his face. I don't. Oh, did he snap out of it? The answer is yes. You're hallucinating. The kid. Oh, this. This must be so hard for Sam. I just want to give him a hug, please. This is horrifying. How could you do this to me? <laughs> We're gonna no. be normal. I tried. It didn't pan out that way. Sorry. I thought we were gonna be normal. I can't imagine he's talking to uh, himself. You got away from dad. You quit hunting. You were gonna become a lawyer and get married. Why'd you blow? It's not that easy. I oh no. Jessica. Yeah. If you hadn't run off with Dean, if he'd been there to protect her, she'd still be alive. Don't say that to yourself. You think she'd be happy you using her as an excuse? I'm sorry, but life doesn't turn out the way you thought it would when you were 14 years it's old. It's we interesting to see him we have this conversation, away. yeah. It, it makes it clear that he hasn't moved on from the fact that he was so close to have a normal life. Because that's gotta be true to these hallucinations, right? He's making them up. How can you run from what's inside you? Oh. No, not the yellow eyes. I will never get over the time where you could see the yellow eyes in Sam, whether that was imagination or not. Fifteen man fishing crew, all stricken blind, cause unknown. Your goes postal, locks the door, kills exactly sixty six kids. Don't tell me these are seals. They're all seals. Yeah. Breaking fast. They're on a roll with the seals, huh? Who knows. Can't be many. Where the hell are your angel pals? You tell me. Well, that's a whole different layer of confusing and complicated. The apocalypse being nigh and all. Not really the right time to be having this little domestic drama of ours. Are you gonna... Are you saying Sam you, Sam? Demons. Yeah. He's got a shot at stopping Armageddon. So what? Sacrifice Sam's life? His soul for the greater good? Oh, this is complicated. I know you hate me for suggesting it. I hate me for suggesting it. I love that boy like a son. Oh, I know you do. Maybe he's here right now, instead of on the battlefield. Because we love him too much. I, oh God, this. Well, that's how Sam has been seeing it the whole time as well. I think that like, he's supposed to be out there doing this and he's the only one who can. And so he is worth sacrificing himself for it. That's just, oh no, I don't want them having this conversation. This just sucks. He's really, oh. No, not the moment. No, no you're kidding me. No, not now. He looks just awful. Yeah, he does look awful though. I will say. You're disappointed. I feel like that's also the biggest insecurity he has 
that people are going to be disappointed at him. It feels no, like that's something he brings up quite a lot and is something that he's really scared of. My Dean, gosh. his mum, his dad, anyone. You're doing the right thing, Sam. What you're doing is brave. Wait, now I'm confused. What? Why is he hallucinating his mum saying that? Or is that himself trying to convince himself that he's doing the right thing? Sam, I'm so proud of you. Although I am happy that he gets to hear his mum say this, real or not. <laughs> He he's done some flipped up things, but he's doing understand. he's doing it because he believes it's the right thing. He is working hard to do the I right thing in hunter. the end. From a long line, we understand that there are going to be hard choices. A hunter wouldn't do this, though, would they? I feel like they'd be very Best against it. Is but you, you have the power to turn it into a gift. That's what I want for him, but I'm scared. <laughs> This conversation is making my stomach hurt. What's in the love? It's evil, and you know it. What if it's stronger than me? It's a really good sign that he is stressed about Dean's that, though. Right. There's even a part of him that thinks that that's not good. Are. This could, this could be bad in the end. Speak. Okay, no, wait. Here we go. No, no, no. Something's wrong. Something's okay, really wrong here. He's terrified. No, no, no. Oh, I was like really wondering when this conversation was going to turn to the really bad. Not just takes. her encouraging him potentially, but also saying Dean is weak. She would never say that. Oh, I, that's probably because that's how he feels, right? That that's the right thing to do. No, don't say that. I, it doesn't matter if this is a hallucination or not. This is going to be stuck in his head, this conversation. And I know that he's doing, trying to do the right thing. That's why this sucks so bad. I think he knows he's hallucinating, but it doesn't mean that he's not going to take this conversation to heart, right? Oh, I'm so stressed. It is such a difficult thing because it does make him powerful. He can do a lot of good, but doesn't mean he will. Oh, now you show up. Yeah, it's I'm about that time. Out here for about two and a half hours now. What do you want? You can start with what the hell happened in Illinois. What do you mean? Explanations, please. Thank you. There's nothing of import. <laughs> it was definitely important. Come on. Heaven, but it was not of import, Dean. <laughs> I can't. Sorry. Just tell them what happened instead of telling that, though. And just say something about it. About Sam, right? Yeah. Can you do it? Kill Lilith? Stop the apocalypse? Possibly, yes. But with a risk. Is that it? You'd have to take certain steps. Crank up the yeah. Hellblood regimen. Consuming the amount of blood it would take to kill Lilith would change your brother forever. Oh. He would become the next creature that you would feel compelled to kill. No. No, we can't have that. We cannot have that. Please, we can't have that. We have to find another way. You, Dean. Not your brother. The only question for us is whether you're willing to accept it. He would do anything to make Sam not go through that. Even if he doesn't believe that he's the right person, he will do it for Sam. I do this. Right? Help Sam. Sam he doesn't have to. Kind of. Comfort to see what I'm. Way. Yeah. Because then he would. God, Even if he believes days. that he's not the right person for this cause, he's not strong enough. He would do anything for Sam. Find him in. Oh. You give yourself over. Holy to the service of God and his angels. Does he have to to do this? Say it. What does that mean? No, wait, 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 wait. I don't know what's happening now. I don't know if I like it. What does that mean? Oh, Kaz's eyes is holy. not. I'm not liking that look. Serve and you guys. You swear to follow his will. Mm. And obediently as you did your own father's. Don't make him do this, please. He is giving himself up again for no, Sam. What? Dean's that love for Sam is just beyond anything. It's just, oh, like, what does this bond? Like, what does him saying that he that he is gonna give himself over to the angels and to God's will? Like, what does that actually mean? Like, practically speaking, what are we talking about here? Because I'm a little bit nervous that this is going to make him have to do things that he doesn't want to do or go through something pretty painful as well because we know being having an angel in you is not good either. What the heck? Please tell me that this is sound hallucinating. Oh, 
what are they wow I, I wish they could help had like having to hear him scream for help because he's terrified it's just you willingly signed up to be the angel's bitch I'm yeah. sorry you prefer sucker after everything you said about him, now you trust them? He doesn't. He doesn't trust him. It's not I about trust that. Them less. I mean, they come on like shady politicians from Planet Vulcan. Well, then why in the hell did Because you... what other option do I have? It's either trust the angels or let Sammy trust a demon? Yeah. I see your point. Yeah, I thought he would. He's just saying that because he also doesn't want Dean to go Neither. through anything. Why is it so quiet? That's a little too much nothing. Yeah, I'm a little worried. Oh no. Oh no, what if he tricks them though? And they like, get in and he gets out. Oh. I'm just faking. I really think you I, I don't think he's faking. Do I was a little scared, but... Yeah. Yeah. But what if he gets out regardless? Is he making himself go around in the room? Oh no, this is so hard to watch. I don't. He's really going through. This is horrible. I think Dean is just more sure that this is the right thing now. He doesn't want him to go through this. Before he has another fit. Yeah, yeah, let's just get it over with. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, I feel so bad for both of them. Like Sam having to go through this and. I don't think he ever knew that this was gonna happen, and he re oh he just did it because he thought it was the yeah, right thing, and now he's here. And Demon having Dean see the that, yeah. Why did you do this? Why? To Maybe he did know. I don't know. I'm assuming he didn't. You know why? Kill Lilith. The big excuse. There's more to it, but yeah, that, that's a main famous, reason. But there's right? more. Of course. To make everyone proud of him? Do you happen to notice I'm back? That too. Alive and kicking. So what's the point? Revenge and and wanting to do the right thing and be the I don't know, bigger person, I guess. The damn apocalypse. My gig, not yours. The angel said so. God he doesn't want me, Dean man. to do it either, I think. Like, and also, I think... Uh. Excuses. Hmm? Is he even talking to Dean? Why did it echo so weirdly and why couldn't we see him in one of the angles? I'm confused if that was like a real conversation or not. Right you saw what was happening to him down there. The demon blood is killing him. No, it isn't. I get what... Uh, I get where he's coming from. I can't bite my tongue any longer. We're killing him. Keeping him locked up down there. This cold turkey thing isn't working. It's getting worse. He doesn't Which... get what he needs. So Sam's not gonna last much longer. I'm a little bit scared that that might be the case, that Sam might now have to get demon blood, but I... I'm... I don't know, I'm a little... I'm... And if he dies... Then at least he dies human! I know why you really drink that blood, Sam. Just leave me alone. Okay, no, this is... this has got to be in his it's head, right? Invincible. No, that's not the reason. This is not it. No, this is not Dean. He wouldn't, he wouldn't talk to him like this, I because don't your think. Your whole life, you felt different. Like a little close to home, huh? But not different because you were so... Chuck, the hell? Always oh. a monster. Don't say that. No. I think that he's scared and Dean thinks this of him. Second. Yeah, you would. I know that. I don't I know. Do this whole so. convers... Like, all of this is just making me feel a little... Something's wrong, okay? I can't put my finger on exactly what I it is, but something's life. wrong. I will let my brother turn into a monster. Monster, <laughs> Sam. You're a monster. <laughs> I guess there is some truth to this. But who you knows that he's gonna be a monster, though? We don't know that for sure. That's the thing we don't You're know he's gonna to be. Me. Don't you say that to me. No, 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 no. I don't. I hate this. Oh, I just want to give Sam a big hug now. All he wants is for Dean to be proud of him. Like, Dean wouldn't say it like this to his face, but it's kind of clear now that it's partially what he's thinking, at least. Not maybe in this way, but he's scared for Sam, obviously, but I don't know. Is it right for him to just die instead of staying the way he's been? Does, is that more correct? Is that more right? I don't... I don't like that. Huh? Uh, it's gonna be hard keeping track on what's real and not here. Hello? I wouldn't want to leave. 
this place if I was Sam. Oh, I'm like waiting for a jump scare. It, this episode has been emotionally so torturous. Fudge. I don't even know if it's real or not. Did he open that? No. What? Wait, are the angels and God trying to have Dean kill Sam or stop Sam or something? Why would they do this to them? No. Of course, because he's obviously gonna get- Of course he's gonna escape now because he's so addicted to this. And he can't help it at this point. No, no. Why would Cass do- Like, I understand the stuff happened in heaven, but why the flip? Why is- Is it because God and angels have that much against demons that they want to go after Sam? Is that it? Oh, Anna's so disappointed, isn't he? You shouldn't have called me, Anna. Why would you let out Sam Winchester? Yeah. Those were my orders. Orders? You saw him. He's drinking demon blood. Dean was trying to stop him. Yeah. He was trying to save him. You really shouldn't have come. You're kidding me, right? This, this... This is not good. Because the angel slash god wants to kill Anna, right? Cass, what did they do to you to make you go through all of this again? I mean, you can see that he doesn't want to do this, but what is pushing him over the limit to let Sam out and to have Anna arrested? I don't understand. Oh my god. Oh, I don't want to watch this scene. I'm nervous. The only place you're going is back inside with me. Please, Sam, go with him. I know you're desperate. Please. No. Please. Damn it, boy. No, I can't watch this. I can't watch this. Me, Bobby. Don't test me. You won't do it. Look you at him. We're trying to help you, Sam. He knows that, I think. Then <sighs> shoot. No, don't say that, please. <laughs> Don't do that to Bobby, please. I thought. Oh, I knew something bad was gonna happen. Oh. I'm so sorry, Bobby. I know. I know he didn't mean to do that. I think he knows too. He could never shoot Sam. It's it's literally like his own kid. He could never shoot him. <sighs> this is too hard to watch. How'd he get out? Maybe there's no know. way. Yeah, there's no way that Sam did. Demons? Booby. That'd be my guess. That's a good guess, but could they really? Oh, fudge no. I didn't think so. Yeah. She didn't seem like she had it the last time she was here. No, man. Well, what difference does it make? How he got gone ain't as important as where he got gone, too. At this point, I hope he's with Ruby. Why? Because killing yeah. her's the next big item on my to-do list. Oh. <laughs> That's not what I thought he was gonna say. I am on call in my car on my way to murder the bitch. Fudge. Sam don't want to be found, which means he's gonna be damn near impossible to find. Yeah. That's gonna be hard. We'll see. Although, if there's someone who really knows him, it's definitely. It's definitely Dean. But I can't watch this. I really. I'm trying to not break down and to a billion pieces here, but this is one of the most difficult episodes in a long time. Honeymoon suite, really. I'm flattered. Did you bust me out of that room? How could I, Sam? The whole thing's engineered to bite me in the ass. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't know either. I don't know. You're out. That's all that matters. I'm glad you're here. Oh, I'm so stressed. I got here as quick as I could. I mean, the past three weeks. I've been calling you. I've been pretty deep in it, trying to dig out Lilith. Sometimes I can't sit around and check my voicemail. I had no idea that Dean would do that to you. I don't know. You and me both. That's not... No, Sam, don't feel that way. That's not it. He's gonna come after me. He knows my habits, my aliases, everything. He knows exactly which motel I'd pick. Into the room. He really doesn't want him to. Well, it won't be easy, I mean... He knows you better than anyone. And he's still not feeling that Ruby did this to him, face. or... 
I don't know, someone I'm else sad. did this to him? He still thinks it's Dean that did this to him? I mean, he might be wrong. It might be the that he... I don't know. Oh, I, my brain is exploding. Oh, I hate that Ruby is... Like, I really like Ruby as a character, but I hate that she is playing in to the fact that Dean is doing this to Because it might be the wrong thing, okay? It might be the wrong thing. Maybe... Oh, I can't watch this. It might be that Sam does have to live his life like this from now on. And that detoxing him might not work. But he is doing it because he is trying to save Sam. St Dean is not doing Please this to him in the way that they make it sound. Get a car stolen in Jamestown? Two. 1999 Honda Civic, blue, nice and anonymous, like white 05 Escalade with custom rims. It's a neon. That's probably a, right the one then. That. So he took that. Yeah. You think? I know that kid. He doesn't want to be found. He's gonna do the opposite, right? Oh man, this is the. Bigger. Yeah, that's the problem. Sam, relax. It's okay. It's good. It's really good though. Means you're strong enough to kill Lilith. <sighs> because the final seals are breaking. How many are left? Three, two. What? Where are the angels? Screwing the pooch. I'm really stressed out about all of this. 66. It can't be broken by just any demon. Apparently, only Lucifer's first can do it. God prefers humans to angels. Lucifer gets jealous, and then he gets creative. He twists and tempts a human soul into the very first demon. Is that Lilith? That right? Because we didn't we learn this before? I guess Sam didn't know that. That's true though. She's definitely older than she looks. If Lilith is the only one who can break the final seal, if I get to her in time. Then Lucifer never busts out of his cage. Oh no, this is like all sounding good, but it's like it's not gonna be this easy peasy. I closed in on a member of Lilith's entourage. You might call her a personal chef what, what? you don't want to know i was just gonna say do we want to know that one of the neonatal nurses walked right off the unit with two babies oh fudge yeah i should not be i shouldn't be surprised does lily eat babies is that what you're telling me please tell me that's not it she was possessed <laughs> that's i know Oh, now one of them is gonna do it. Oh, is delicious. she gonna do it? Delicious. She did not just say that. Yeah, there we go. I see what we mean by chef now, and I'm not loving it. Oh, our demon gourmet nurse. Sam, what did you do with your hair? I don't like it. If you're gonna be strong enough to kill Lilith, you're gonna need more than I can give you now. So, what's the plan? I know, I need more. I, I get it. I know it's okay. I just, I wish he trusted me, you know? Ah, uh, this is just so bad because I know that that's all he wants no, from no, Dean. This is over. I hope we can fix things. Oh, You will always be able to fix things. I hope. It just sucks so much because I feel like there's so much Ruby knows and not telling Sam and Tammy's trusting her and still believes wholeheartedly that he is doing the right thing and is doing it for Dean and... Us it's just, Sam. it sucks. That's gotta be about getting him back, not pushing him away. Yeah. Right. No matter what, please. You're mad, Dean. I understand. You got a right to be. But I'm just saying. Yeah. Be good to him anyway. I know it's gonna be hard for Dean, even if they, like, or when they find him. Because I know that Dean believes that he's doing the right thing and he's doing it to save Sam. But then Sam also believes he's doing the right thing. So no matter what, this is gonna be extremely difficult. Oh no, did they- Oh, is he gonna walk in on Ruby? <laughs> oh, don't kill her though, I'm a little nervous. I get it though, Big Brother is angry right now. <laughs> oh, I don't like this nowhere, this is heading- Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's all breathe. Some part of you two had gone. Have a little chat. Considering how hard you try to keep me from crashing it. Dean, I'm glad you're here. I think he is. Let's just talk about this. As soon as she's dead, we can talk all you want. Oh, don't. Mm, that's not gonna help. I know how Dean feels. I understand yeah. why you're saying she's this. She's not going anywhere. 
I have to agree with Samuel. Let's sit down and talk about this. It's not what you think, Dean. Look what she did to you! She might have. She might be poisoning him. She was looking for Lilith. She yeah, she probably was. Please just listen to Sam. Even if it's even if it's not true, Dean, just please listen I just to him. Want you to be okay. You would do the same for me, you know you would. Yeah. Just listen for a second. We got a lead on a demon close to Lilith. Come with us, Dean. We'll do this together. He wants to do this together because he loves his brother, but... It was you and me. Demon bitch is a deal breaker. You kiss her goodbye, we can go right now. I can't. Dean, I need her to help me kill Lilith. But maybe one day, you'll understand. Maybe explain more to him about what maybe you know. Can do this, Dean. No, you're he not really thinks so. He really believes he's the only one. You don't think I can? No. You can't. You're not strong enough. And who the hell are you? I'm being practical here. I don't think he realized. I don't know. Around, Maybe he is realizing the cost. I just this. I hate this. Oh, wife. You take the wheel. You call the shots, and I trust you because you are my brother. He's just asking him I'm to trust asking him. You for once, trust me. I know he wants to do that. No, you don't know what you do with Sam. Yes, I do. Then that's worse. Why? Look, I'm telling you. Because it's not something that you're doing, it's what you are! Oh no, he's really saying he's feeding into Sam's biggest fears right now. That he's a monster and that Dean believes that. No. Sam might be going in the wrong direction, but he has a good heart, and you know that. I know he's just so worried. It means you're a monster. He did not just say that to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did not mean to say that. He did not mean to hit him. I hate it. No. And literally him doing that is making him... It's really making it so much worse because it's almost like he's proving that that's it. No, we stop hitting each other. Please tell me Ruby is not far away from they can stop them. Or Bobby or someone. They're gonna freaking kill each other. I'm hating this. Please stop. Please stop. Sam is probably stronger than you right now, Dean. Please. I'm scared of what Sam might accidentally do to Dean. And none of them do mean that. None of them wants this. I know none of them means this. Oh, no, 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 Sam. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do this. is not this. Okay, now I'm a hundred times more worried. Please stop. You don't know me. You're not you proving did. your point. Don't say that. And you never will. <gasps> you no. The door. No. Don't you ever. No, come don't back. say that. None of you mean this. You both love each other. Why do you? Why would you say that to each other? <laughs> they're literally both saying things that they're just scared of, and that they don't actually mean getting the exact opposite effect of what they actually want. Oh. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. You left it at that. <laughs> Fudge. This was probably one of the worst episodes I've seen in a long time. And I don't mean it wasn't a good episode. I mean, I hated what happened. How do you even summarize this? I know I keep screaming at them like they can hear me. <laughs> and I know they won't, but this whole episode was just both of them confronting their fears about the other person and then the other person feeding that fear into them. And they just, it was this bad circle of this is what I'm scared of. This is what I'm worried about. This is not what I, this is what I don't want. And then the other person just feeding into that, making it worse, almost proving the point. It is so difficult because both of them genuinely are trying to do the right thing, both generally speaking, but also for the other person. They love each other. They, they are, they have one of the strongest sibling bonds that I have ever seen in my entire life. Movie-wise, real, like all of it. 
and it's so clear that Sam, like, we all know Sam's a good person. What he's doing might not be the right thing. It might be. It's definitely going to have its consequences, that's for sure. But he's doing it because he believes it's the right thing. He believes that he is the only one who can do this. And he's doing it for Dean as well. It's not just for the world, he's doing it for Dean. He doesn't want Dean to do it, he doesn't want Dean to sacrifice himself. And yes, I think he might also want revenge for what happened to Dean in Hell. He, he wants to give back. Like, I know Dean is... Dean or Dean's, like, fake uh, hallucination, I don't know, but like, one version of Dean said, like, I'm alive, I'm here. And yes, he is, but I feel like Sam will not be able to forgive, I guess, Hell, Lilith, demons, for what happened to Dean. He, he wants to give that part back to him in a weird way. Which isn't what Dean want, but Sam still believes it's the right thing. He believes it's the right thing for humanity. He believes he can stop Lilith and therefore the apocalypse. He believes he's the only one who can do it and he's also doing it for the love of his brother. And it's so clear that Sam just wants Dean to see him, to be proud of him, to listen to him. And I, I am very worried of what Sam is doing. And I, no matter if it's right or wrong, it, it's very clear that the intention is good. So I, I really wished they could just really talk about it instead. And I think if Sam could hear from Dean, because Dean is proud of Sam, like it is not about that. And yes, he might be calling the shots, but he's doing that to protect Sam always. Dean loves Sam as much as Sam loves Dean. It's just, it's making it very, very complicated the whole thing it's just oh i don't even know it's also so obvious that i think he dean is scared of sam being a monster but i i think it's not really about that because dean said like at least he would die a human and i i think what he actually means i might be wrong but like i feel like what he actually means is he will at least die sam he is scared that the person that Sam will become if he continues this. It's not about him being a monster, it's about him not being Sam anymore. And he doesn't want to lose Sam that way. He would rather lose him whilst he's Sam. Which is why he's trying in any way to save him. And he is doing that because he believes that is the right thing. And sure, he doesn't trust the angels, but they have been telling him a lot about Sam and how whatever Sam is doing is not good. And I can understand trusting angels more than you trust Ruby, who is a demon. At this point, we don't really know what is right and wrong. Th because, like, even even if you would be more inclined to trust angels, we know that they're not... It's They, they have some gray zones, and the decisions they make is not necessarily what you would expect an angel or god to do. And it's also so clear that they have this enormous hatred, like deep hatred for angel, uh, for demons. The angels have a deep hatred for angels. Why can I not speak? The angels have a deep hatred for demons. So part of me is wondering that, like if it's more about the fact that Sam has demon blood in him and that he could, use these powers in a demonic evil way and just like it doesn't matter what he does with them the fact that they're demonic and that's what matters like it doesn't matter if sam can withstand the demon blood and do good things with this demon skills that he has the fact that they're demon skills matters more to the angels is what i'm worried about so it's really hard to know because ruby is very sure of what she's saying we still don't know fully why she is so hell-bent on going after lilith why she's helping sam we we don't know her full story yet and i don't maybe we will never or maybe that will be clear very soon who knows but it's hard to know because what she is saying it makes sense and obviously ruby and sam likes each other which makes it harder because obviously he would trust her even more because he likes her and then you have the other side of the coin with it it's 
it's a lot. I'm happy Bobby is there to help them through this because if it was just the two of them, oh, clearly that didn't work out very well. I cried several times in this episode, fudge in hell. It's just the things that they were saying, seeing Sam suffer, seeing Dean watching Sam suffer, Bobby trying to like be the glue holding them together, even saying like we want we need to get Sam back. Like you need to think of that. And I understand why Dean said the what he did, I understand why Sam said what he did, but they're really just feeding each other exactly what the other person is scared of. Dean's terrified of losing Sam, of never seeing him again, and him becoming someone that Sam is not. Whereas Sam is terrified of losing Dean, and Dean not believing in him, and not being proud of him, and being disappointed, and not trusting him to do the right thing. Like, we have these two opposites and they're just continuously making it worse. Oh god, this... It really ended so abruptly as well. I was so into it. I assumed it was gonna continue and then it didn't. And now they've gone the separate ways with Dean being hurt and Sam too. And physically and mentally, both of them being hurt, and Sam going with Ruby to stop Lilith, and then we have Dean who's probably gonna have to try to go after them, and Bobby's probably gonna have to- I don't know how they're gonna fix this. Like, I know they love each other, and I'm sure they'll be able to get back to each other, but it's gonna be so much more difficult than all the other times. Like, this has reached another level of complicated and even just thinking about it is making my brain explode. Okay, I will say this was a really good episode. They acted so well. It was painful to watch Sam go through the detox and Dean watching him, and it was even more painful hearing them say those words to each other. And then the conversation with Sam and Bobby as well was just... My heart is now broken into billions of pieces. And if this episode was this, and like this hard to watch, and the next one is the last of the season, I don't, mm, I don't want to imagine what the next one is gonna be like. Um, I think I might have to hairspray my face for the makeup to stay on. Actually, did pretty good today. I'm a little surprised. I managed to dean tears. I feel like. <laughs> And I probably have to bring a tissue box. Man, thank you so much for being on this journey with me. I'm gonna go and have a little, like, a little cry, and I'm probably gonna cry again editing this. It's gonna be great. Who doesn't love crying? <laughs> thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your watching. If you enjoyed it, it would mean a lot if you gave it a thumbs up. Of course, comment down below your thoughts and feelings when you watched this the first time, when you watched this the 58th time, or maybe when you watched it with me. I would love to know, or maybe you just have a fun fact or want to say hello. I love reading your comments, even though I am a little slow at responding. I always read them and I, I try to respond as quickly as I can. So thank you so much for being patient and thank you so much for writing so many nice and lovely messages with fun facts in them. And of course, make sure to subscribe for upcoming videos if you have not. I would super appreciate that and I will see you in the next one. I hope that you'll have an amazing rest of your day, night, morning, midnight, night, breakfast, whichever time it is for you when you're watching this and I'll see you very soon.